why does the Pope have a bunch of astronomers? It's a question we always get asked. And there's kind of the narrow reason in 1891, Pope Leo XIII wanted to show the world that the church was supporting science because at the end of the 19th century, that was just the time when the myth was becoming invented that somehow the church and science were opposed. The deeper history goes back to the fact that, in fact, the church has always supported science. You had to learn astronomy as one of the seven courses in the medieval universities before you got to go on to theology or philosophy. The fact that there are telescopes on the Pope's summer home is a visible sign that literally the church is supporting astronomy. The important message about the support is not just to those who would criticize the church, but it's also an important message to people within the church who might be tempted to criticize science, who are suspicious of science, who want to say that all science is dangerous. That's not traditional Christianity. If you believe that God created the universe, then knowing how God created the universe is a way of getting to know God. The myth that we're told is that Galileo was somehow some modern scientist trapped in the, the dark ages and being oppressed by a church who was afraid of the idea that making the earth no longer the center of the universe would demote human beings. Probably, this is what the historians are telling us now, the whole Galileo trial was a result of the politics of the day. Not really a philosophical conflict, but it's clear that Galileo was being used as an example, not for anything he said, because he agreed at the very beginning, tell me what to say and I'll change my mind. He showed his book to the censors and it was approved by them and he said, any changes you want, I'll make. So it had nothing to do with his philosophy because that had already been approved. At the time he was put on trial, it was to send a message. Now what message and to whom? Most people would say it was to send a message to the Medici family who were running Florence at a time when they were neutral in the middle of the Thirty Years' War, and that it was tied up in the local politics of the day. If that's the case, the mistake was that the church was using its religious authority for political reasons. The way that we at the observatory work as this bridge between the two cultures, between the culture of religion and the culture of science, is not necessarily the way you'd think it would be. It's not a sense that you make a compromise between science and faith, that you have to give up a little bit of something or a little bit of the other. The only compromise is to admit, in both cases, I don't have all the answers. But even in science, when I have two bits of data that appear to contradict everything I understood, and you know, if it's this way, then it can't be that way, but in fact, it's both ways. That doesn't make me throw up my hands and say, I don't believe in science. It makes me say instead, wow, there's something new here. There's something deeper that I have a chance to understand. That analogy I can carry over to my faith life. When I encounter things that I don't understand in the way God operates in the universe. If God is good, why is there evil in the world? Ah, because my idea of good and my idea of God is a very shallow idea. Do I have a deep enough idea to make it all work? Not yet, but I'm confident that there is a deeper idea out there because I've seen in my science how this works. We also have to recognize that we are creatures of original sin. We are fallen. Sin is going to occur. Technology gives us enormous power. That means power to do good or power to do evil. And both are going to happen. We need a church to stand outside of society and remind us of the things that are going on inside society, but also to be with us within our society, within our culture, to accompany us, mirroring the way that God is both transcendent and imminent. God is outside, but also God is alongside. And the church must be the same way.